。那现在看到两支球队的一起列队了，那我们稍后时间呢，将会为大家介绍的，就是两支球队的参赛队员和他们目前在国际马球会当中的一个级别。All right, folks, first I'd like to introduce the two umpires who will be calling today's match. You see them there in the black and white shirts. First, we have Santiago Araija and John Fisher. 来，我们看到今天呢是两位的裁判员，分别是阿雅拉，另外呢戴起红帽子这个，他有一个非常大家熟悉的中文名字，呃，给他改的名字叫费翔，不过不是冬天里的一把火。All right, then up next, let's get right to it. The players playing in today's match wearing the white and red jerseys representing London University. Wearing number one, Arthur Colfonte. 好了，我们看到呢，穿起了红白衣服，这就是来自伦敦大学一号的，就是阿德尔科尔·方迪恩。At number two, Natasha Hedegaard. 二号就是海德，没个的。At number three, Reda Shetty. 三号就是拉德·史蒂。And at number four, all the way from Rome, it's Peter Elser. 四号是彼得·埃尔塞尔。On the other side of the pitch, wearing the white and blue jerseys, representing the Bulldogs of Yale, number one, Chelsea Messenger. 我们看到的是穿起了蓝白上衣的，这就是耶鲁大学一号的是查尔斯·梅辛格。At number two, Arthur Sonnenfeld. 二号是阿瑟尔·宋南索尔德。At number three, Elias Bernicol. 而三号呢是阿尔丽莎·尼克。And at number four, Kara Fickrig。四号是卡拉·费克里奇。那在这里呢，我们可以看到的是每位球员在现场大屏幕对面呢，后面是有他们的排名。这个排名呢，将会是呃他们目前在国际马球会当中的排名。那我们每一场的比赛呢，都会请到一位的抛球嘉宾。那今天我们请到的是美国马球协会总裁约瑟夫·保罗·梅尔先生为第一场比赛的抛球嘉宾。All right, folks, we are just about ready to get underway with the match, but first we'd like to welcome up to the pitch Joseph Meyer, the president of the United States Polo Association, will be performing our first bowl-in of the match. A note for those of you watching in the stands, Yale will begin the match with a two-point advantage in the situation of a tie due to a half-goal advantage, Yale will win. 来，我们看到的是在大屏幕上，为什么有一个两分呢？耶鲁还没开打，因为呢，这就是跟他们在后面马球在国际马球会的排名的级别有关的。因为他们呢是负五级，对方是负三级，所以呢，越负的分数多呢，实际上就等于是跟足球比赛大家看过的呃这个不能常用、不能常玩的赌球的让球法一样。Out of the ball in quick possession here for London, it's Shetty controlling the ball along the boards. Shetty with time. Trying to play the ball under a pony, he'll leave it for Elser. Peter Elser now with an advantage, goes to goal strong. It'll be Elser! That ball rolling, 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 and picked up by Shetty for the score. 好了，我们看到的是，首先进球的是伦敦大学的三号。那他呢？呃，这个进球的是石林。那他的进球之后呢，将会在场地当中呢是交换。一下进攻的方向。那在草地比赛当中呢，是经常会出现这样的，因为你有时候面向太阳或者背向太阳。那在进球之后，进入到场地中央重新交换。那目前呢是伦敦一比二暂时落后于耶鲁。For those of you new to the sport of polo, keep in mind that the teams will switch goals after every goal scored. So now it is the University of London going towards the hotel. Out of the ball, an attempted backhander trying to save the drive, but Shetty is there to pick it up. Shetty now driving hard, continuing along. About 60 yards from goal, he'll shoot and he will score. Shetty knocks the goal in and makes it a tie game, 2-2. Two -two. London University driving hard. 哦，看来这两队比赛这个负极的差别确实还是有啊。打起来好像让大家觉得这个马球怎么进球那么容易啊？实力已经是梅开二度，追成二比二平了。
you remember the teams will switch sides. Now it will be Yale going towards the hotel out of the line. And a bit of a chance here for Yale. Critical that they capitalize on these chances out of the bowling. And a quick whistle out of the lineup. 好了，那我们看到这边呢，有哨音响起呢，马球比赛的犯规呢，基本上是在路线的选择。当击球队员打出去的球滚动的路线，这就是击球路线，而最有击球权的，就是在这个路线的后方。那如果在球的后方小于四十五度切入，你是可以有权去打这个球；但是如果在前方大于四十五度切入的话呢，就是属于犯规。Umpire's whistle is going to go in favor of the Yale Bulldogs. It will be a 60-yard defended look on goal, meaning that the University of London will have the opportunity to contest the shot after it is hit. 60 yards, and four defenders stand between the Bulldogs and a goal. 好了，那我们看到是六十码的罚球，那中间是可以有一位防守队员。马球比赛的防守呢是在三十码以外，所以呢，六十码的罚球，你的站立的防守就是所谓的人墙，必须要在三十码以外。所以呢，这个六十码的罚球，你可以有一个队员在球门的。路线上干扰对方这个球的滚动，当然，如果对方把球打得高高的，虽然看到这个门柱三米呢是不是很高，但是这个两个旗子呢，就是意味着它的上限是无限。Also keep in mind that the player will have two options on this particular penalty shot. He can either try to shoot it the length of the 60 yards in one shot or dribble it. If he does choose to dribble it, he cannot hit thereafter. He must continue to dribble. 看这个跑是跑得够远的，嗯，就是用一个加速，但是有些时候这跟人的加速不一样，因为马加速完了之后，你的马匹的动作，还有球杆跟球接触的那一点，要拿捏得非常准，否则跑得很远，有些时候球打得还没他跑得远的情况也经常会出现。那防守方呢是可以用球杆，可以用马匹去挡，但是呢不能用手。Penalty shot taken and hit. It's going to be about ten yards short of goal, deflected by the defense of Shetty. Bit of a scrum for the ball, and we will have another quick whistle on the play. Looks like they're going to rule it a goal, blow off the whistle. It will be a goal. Yale Bulldogs on the board. Three to two. Yale maintaining a one-point advantage early in the first chunk. 好，我们看到的是，在这个球虽然说是第一个罚球没打进，但是在运动战当中呢，是耶鲁也是进球了。目前比分三比二，耶鲁呢是打进了第一个进球，但是他们却领先了伦敦大学一个球，因为这就是让分制。These bowling opportunities are critical. It is the quickest way for a team to try to get some easy offense on the board and out of the line. And nice backhander there by Shetty, setting up Natasha Hedegar on the rush. Hedegar's near side, next shot, has the line to go to goal, but it's going to be deflected away by a Yale player for the moment. A little bit of a recovery here. Bulldogs still trying to clear. Turning back to the play, it is Shetty. Shetty going hard, about 10 yards stand between him and the goal. A little bit of a difficult angle here at the last second. The backhander will find the line and go in on through London University. Ties the game again. 好了，刚刚我们看到这个进攻呢，本来呢是十里大门，但是呢，呃，虽然说空门，但是它带偏了，但还好后面有队友帮忙，及时的把球呢是补进。那、呃、现在伦敦三比三追平了耶鲁。来、呃，现在看到比赛时间，还有。两分半钟，那其实现在应该说三点五分呢，应该说是不是说三分？所以呢，暂时就换句话说，伦敦这场比赛必须要击败。如果现在结束的话，那耶鲁就是以半分赢得了比赛。Let's see how far the umpire is going to move this one up. Looks like they're going to rule it another 60-yard defended opportunity for the Bulldogs. 
好了，那这边呢是又有犯规了。那、呃、看来呢是似乎伦敦大学的队员呢有点着急，很想快点追回来这个落后，也就是让的这个零点五分。但是呢，操之过急，两次犯规能给予对方有罚球的机会。第一次的六十码，对方是把握住了，进了一个球。看看这一个六十码的罚球又是一个什么样的结果 ？Vera Nicole handling the hitting duties here for Yale once again sends it has nice direction on the shot but not quite enough length. Continuing the play, Yale gets it right in front of the goal mouth. Battle for the ball. Yale's going to come out on top. Arthur Sonnenfeld scores. 好了，那我们看到是耶鲁大学又进球了，又是利用一个六十码的一个罚球。那大家刚刚看到的是很有趣的一个画面，就好像在游乐场看到这个马匹围着中间绕一圈，呃，绕过马球，他们就是围着这个球，因为你必须从后方才能够进入这个进球路线。所以呢，大家会觉得，哎，这么近的距离还绕一圈。Once again, ball in play. Fontaine has the main seal for the moment. Backhander coming from Yale. Now recovering to the play, it will be Bear Nicole in possession. Nicole's shot will go out past the center field line. Bear Nicole trying to get the play to continue, but the ball rolling just wide enough to allow the backhander by Shetty. Shetty's shot picked up first by Sonnenfeld. Sonnenfeld going to see that shot deflected, picked up now by Fontaine, and away he will go. Arthur Cole Fontaine on the breakaway, caught at the last second. As the play turns, Sonnenfeld can't quite get the try to go. Peter Elser now in on the play, opens things up, trying to find Shetty. Shetty manages to pick the ball up. Felt he was fouled on the play, but he's got a man behind in Fontaine. Elser now continuing the drive for London University. Elser, he's unmarked. Nothing but open air between Peter Elser and some points. But he can't quite find the angle on that shot. Wide end to the left of goal by Peter Elser. 好了，咱们看到的这个是阿尔萨尔，这个球打门的力度是够了，呃，就是跟足球比赛有时候会相似，在禁区之内大力并不一定有好结果，所以这个球力量够了，角度没了，没进。Free hit opportunity to set up their offense here for the Yale Bulldogs. Bring the ball into play for Yale. Looks to be Vera Nicole once again. He's been handling most of their hitting duties here today. 那这个把球比赛，如果是用进攻方把球打出底线的话，就防守方直接开底线球。Hard right off here between the two players. Picked up by Yale as the 30-second bell rings. Hard contest won by London University. They get the backhander to go. Picking it up for London is Natasha Hedegar. Hedegar manages to turn the play towards the boards, and that'll do it. Any time that ball touches the boards or exits the field of play after the 30-second bell, the chucker will end. And at the end of the first chucker, it is 4-3. Yale Bulldogs still in front. 好了，那我们看到的是钟响之后就是六分钟的比赛到了。那如果继续比赛的话，到三十秒之后将会呢是终止。当时如果三十秒之间像这样出现哨音或者是球打出界的话，那比赛呢就会是及时停止。那第一节的比赛打完了，中间呢有三分钟的休息。那目前呢耶鲁凭借着他们在负分方面的一个让分的优势，暂时是以四点五比三暂时领先。Et ici, c'est un endroit merveilleux d'élégance, de passion, d'attention du détail. Polo, it's an elite sport played by royalty. I played against Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince Harry. It's a sport where it's, you get a bond with the horse. This place is not just a building. It's not just a polo club. It's also a foundation stone for the new nobility in China. The building has very distinct French accents in its color, in its detailing, to give it a contemporary neoclassical look. Par son originalité, par son architecture, par le projet de, 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 de Polo lui-même, qui est vraiment. Euh 
très original pour, pour, pour la Chine. Architecture is frozen music, they say. You put music into a box and it changes the whole box. It's like magic. The people who come here will enjoy the ultimate experience of the unexpected. People who come here will be from around the world because we are special. We are unique. Je crois que ce qui rassemble le polo et les grands vins, c'est certainement cette recherche de la perfection, cette recherche de l'esthétisme. Oui, il y a un lien très fort entre le polo et Cosse d'Estournel et Bordeaux en général. Ce qui compte, c'est la noblesse du cœur et des sentiments. Et la vraie noblesse se situe à ce niveau-là. All about the idea of bringing mobility back to China. Et d'exception aussi. Next generation can come here and play polo, the sport of kings, and create an environment, a home for the privileged few. Shitai 那由裁判把两队列队面向自己进攻的方向把球抛向中间这一节的比赛将会继续开始 Ball in play, both players battling for it up front. Looks to be London University advantage. Coming away with it, Arthur Cole Fontaine gets an opportunity here for the men in red. Cole Fontaine's next shot goes out, picked up by Hedegaard. Natasha Hedegaard, difficult angle here to go. Can she make the play? Ridden out successfully by the Yale defense, but Fontaine is there to pick things back up as the umpire's whistle sounds. 好了那有兽医响起大家会看到大中计时将会的是暂停那这个在防守方和进攻方如果出现路线的问题呢将会是由两位裁判决定到底谁犯规假如说第一位裁判太接近马匹看不清楚的话将会由最接近中场也就是在
Vernicole once again gets some distance on this one, but unfortunately Peter Elser is there to pack it away for London University. Elser's backhander once again intended for Fontaine along the boards. Difficult angle here to get it back to goal. Hedegaard trying to dig it off the boards. Shetty now in possession. Shetty tries to get past the scrum of hooking mallets. Shetty fighting hard. Gets the ball up ahead, trying to find Peter Elser. Shetty gets back to his own shot, tries to send it under the pony's net. Good chance here for London. Little backhander picked up by Elser. Elser can't get the shot to go. Hedegar is there to turn. Natasha Hedegar going to go, hooked at the last second, but play continued. Looks to be Shetty trying to turn things around, but the umpire's whistle is gonna end that drive. Oh, this game, we can see that the ball was caught in the back of the net, but the most difficult position to get the ball in the most difficult position to get the ball in the most difficult position. Ball rolled out over the end line, meaning once again, Elias Vernicole will have a free hit. Vernicole. A little bit of trouble bringing that one into play. Quickly gonna have a whistle on the play. Anytime you see two men riding towards the ball and one man coming the other direction, that's gonna be an indication that you're gonna have a whistle following short game. 啊，我们看到这个球呢是一个进攻方，在一个防守的时候出现了一个犯规，就是你两个人面向对方的一个人，这个呢在马球比赛当中也是不允许的一个犯规出现了。Umpires do have the prerogative in the sport of polo to move the fouls up depending on the severity. In this case, they judged that the direction favored Yale and the severity of the foul means that they're going to move it up to the center of the field. For a free hit from the center for the Yale Bulldogs. Ah, this game, we see that the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is not being thrown away. It can be thrown to the center line because the center line has a chance to get a free hit. Ah, this game, we see that the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is given to the University of Yale. This time, the ball is given to the University of Yale. Up here from the center. Looks like he's going to choose to keep one man back. Bit of a defensive formation here for the Bulldogs. One man back, two men forward. Vernicole gets the first hit to go. Nicely done there. You see the second lagging man following in behind in case the play goes wrong. And here she is trying to pick it up. Trying to get the play turned around quickly back to it. Arthur Sonnenfeld trying to get it back in the possession of the Bulldogs. But Arthur Colfontaine is there to interrupt, and it will be Colfontaine. Can't quite get the shot to go. Sonnenfeld trying to turn things around again for the Bulldogs as we approach the far boards. Nice hard play there by Natasha Hedegar, continuing things along for London. Bit of a scrum for the ball coming away with it. Looks to be Peter Elser, and it will be Elser going to go. Elser with the head of steam. Ball still has legs on it. Nice clearing shot there by the Bulldogs to save the goal at the last second. But London still in there tenaciously. Hedegar trying to turn things around now. Gives it up to Fontaine. Fontaine gets it just 20 yards away from goal. London struggling to convert. Natasha Hedegar picks up the pass, but ball is just wide and to the left, still alive and in play. Here is Elser. Elser trying to play the ball around, taking his time. Elser trying to find some way to get it back to a man set up close to the goal. Ball gets past the first group of players. Fontaine there to pick up. He's going to try the backhander to go. Can't get it to go. Nice job clearing it out and away by the Bulldogs. The Yale team trying to find a way to get it out and away from the danger zone there. Fontaine once again back in possession. Tries to get the cut shot to go. Can't find the angle. That ball's got legs towards the end line. 
And just a little bit too much distance there. That ball gonna roll out wide and way left. Free hit coming for the Bulldogs. 哦，这个球本来想利用一个球杆的变化，但是呢，似乎这个掌握角度呢出了一点失误，所以这球直接打出了底线，由防守方获得了一个防守的底线球。目前剩下上半场的时间还有一分二十秒，分数在这一节呢没有任何的变化。Vernicol sees that he's got a man out along towards the boards. Can't quite get the distance on the shot he needs. Coming back to it, Vernicol going to try to fight back to the ball, but it is Elser there to pick it up. Peter Elser trying to manipulate that ball past the ponies. Elser defended by a flock of Yaleys on the play, but it is Peter Elser coming away with it. Gets it just a few yards from goal on the near side. Puts it just in front of the goal mouth. Looks like it's gonna be rolling just wide and to the right. London University really struggling to find the mark just in front of the goal. Wow, 看看这个球在门前一码不到的距离，居然就是打空气，所以呢，这个球还是没能从中间经过，所以目前还是没有进球在这一节。所以伦敦大学在这时候有点着急，不过不要紧，只是上半场而已啊。On the broken play coming down the line is Elser. And we have a whistle on the play just next to the goal. Ah, this is the first time you have a whistle on the play. For those of you that are new to the sport of polo, try to keep this general rule in mind when you're watching the sport. Our basic rule is what's called the line of the ball. What you want to do is you want to imagine a line extending out the distance in the direction that the ball is rolling. That line functions just like a lane line on the road. The ponies have to approach it parallel, just like two cars and two lanes. Anytime you see two players coming at an angle to the line, it's probably going to be a foul. 啊，那看在这个网球比赛，我们刚才讲到，其实最重要的就是注意安全。那如果呢是迎面相向的话，基本上在马球比赛当中呢会是出现一个犯规的局面。那这个呢是防守方有两匹马，面对着对方一个进攻方，所以这属于严重犯规，让对方有一个打空门的机会。这次终于进球了，没有人防守。啊，看到伦敦大学把比分追到了四比四点五了。Spot hit for London, handled with a plum, and it is once again a tie game. And that bell will do it. That'll end the chucker. At the end of the second chucker, it is a tie match. Do keep in mind that the Yale Bulldogs do own a half goal advantage, meaning that in the scenario of a tie at the end of the game, the Yale Bulldogs will prevail. But at the end of the first half, it is all tied up, four to four. London vs Yale, tie game. 好了，那我们看到半场比赛结束呢，目前是四比四点五，所以暂时还是落后零点五分。Et ici, c'est un endroit merveilleux d'élégance, de passion, d'attention du détail. Polo, it's an elite sport played by royalty. I played against Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince Harry. It's a sport where it's, you get a bond with the horse. This place is not just a building. It's not just a polo club. It's also a foundation stone for the new nobility in China. The building has very distinct French accents in its color, in its detailing, to give it a contemporary neoclassical look. Par son originalité, par son architecture, par le projet de, 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 de Polo lui-même, qui est vraiment euh, très original pour. Euh, for uh, for Chine. Architecture is frozen music, they say. You put music into a box and it changes the whole box. It's like magic. The people who come here will enjoy the ultimate experience of the unexpected.
People who come here will be from around the world because we are special, we are unique. Je crois que ce qui rassemble le polo et les grands vins, c'est certainement cette recherche de la perfection, cette recherche de l'esthétisme. Oui, il y a un lien très fort entre le polo et Cosse des Tournelles et Bordeaux en général. Ce qui compte, c'est la noblesse du cœur et des sentiments. Et la vraie noblesse se situe à ce niveau-là. All about the idea of bringing nobility back to China. Et d'exception aussi. Next generation can come here and play polo, the sport of kings, and create an environment, a home for the privileged few. At the top of the second half of the play, score is tied 4 to 4. London and Yale locked at a 4 to 4 tie. We will have two chuckers remaining in the second half of the play. Players are returning to the field. We will be ready to go with the second half of action in just a moment. 好了，那我们看一下钟声响起，下半场的比赛就马上就要开始了。呃，目前伦敦是四比四点五，暂时落后于耶鲁零点五分。那换句话说，其实伦敦大学必须要在分数上压过对手，因为呢他们在呃让分上他们是让了两分，所以呢现在看，呃。两个球都是在定位球出现了一个失误，呃，让对方呢是混乱当中打成了。所以呢，在这样的情况底下，看看在下半场，伦敦大学经过了中场休息之后，会不会在定位球或者是在防守的时候注意一下路线的选择，不要给对方太多定位球的机会。啊，这样的话呢，对方实际上在运动战当中想要争取得进攻，好像还是有点难度。For those of you that are new to the sport of polo, after each and every chuckler, you'll notice that the players do have the opportunity to collect a fresh polo pony. Typically, these polo ponies are owned by the player, and they're quite familiar with their strength. One of the challenges of playing collegiate or intervarsity polo is that typically the players are going to play ponies that are completely new to them. In this case, all of the ponies that you see in this tournament belong to the Metropolitan Polo Club. The players have had two opportunities prior to this match to ride and familiarize themselves with these horses. But other than that, the players are having to rely on their horsemanship to get to know these ponies on the fly. 那其实，在马球比赛当中，我们知道，在世界上一些顶级的马球呢，他们基本上的。是有自己的马匹，那当然也会是有一些球员属于职业球员，那他们职业球员呢是面对着不同的马匹，而现在像这些大学球员，他们在呃开始学骑马的时候呢，可能对这些的马匹呢在控制方面呢还会是有一定的难度，所以呢，这次虽然是由天津。华亚国际马球会提供的所有的出赛的马匹是已经是呃属于非常好的马匹，但是呢，实际上对这些学员来讲，他们想要在比赛当中能够打得更好的话呢，是先要跟这些马有一个好的沟通，呃，时间上对他们来讲不是太允许，所以呢，现在就是看看到底他们怎么样能够凭借在场上这个对马匹的了解和对比赛当中的一个阅读能力，找得一个更好的机会。No substitutions for either team. The same sides will return here in the second half. Players will begin the second half once again at the center pitch with the ball. 好了，他在比赛下半场开始的时候，裁判把两队列在场内中央，把球抛向中间。比赛马上就要开始。Nice job there by Fontaine to send it up to Elser out of the lineup. A little bit of a deflection by the Yale player, but Shetty is there to pick up the change. Shetty in possession, taking his time now. He has access to the line, trying to seal away the player. Nice job on the bounce to pick it up by Sonnenfeld, and it will be Sonnenfeld for Yale with an opportunity to get something going for the Bulldogs. Sonnenfeld. 
about 40 yards between him and that goal. That ball's got just a little bit too much distance on it. Wide end to the right. On the shot by Sonnenfeld. 我们刚刚看到是耶鲁的索南菲尔德，这球呢是飞檐，虽然是单刀，但是呢始终打这个球的角度呢，而有草头的跳动、马匹的跑动，再加上球杆跟滚动球当中的接触点都出现了一点分差，所以没进。Nice long ball there by Elser, intended up to Hedegaard. Natasha Hedegaard picks the play up, manages to get across center pitch, and away she will go. Good hook there by the Yale player, but danger zone here for London University. A little backhander by Yale trying to clear, but Elser is there to pick it up. Peter Elser marked hard by the defense. Elser still in command and in control. Elser going to try to turn it long, trying to find some open space on the tail shot. Gets it out to Fontaine. Fontaine gives it up to Hedegaard. Hedegaard. Gonna see that ball backed away by Vernicol. Vernicol's backhander intended for Messenger. Gonna be picked up on the play once again by Vernicol, but we will have a whistle on the play. 好了，这个球呢是裁判又吹响了犯规的哨音啊！因为在击球的时候，看到是在耶鲁有进攻权的时候呢，对方的马匹是横向出现在击球的路线上，阻挡了这一个的位置，而且呢是用身体挡，所以吹了个犯规。Result of the foul is going to be a free hit from the center for Yale. Notice the amount of physicality on the field right now. You saw that play by Elser where he was only about 30 yards away from goal, but in the sport of polo, full contact is allowed so long as the players are parallel along that lane line. Bring the ball into play now for Yale. It is Vernicol. Vernicol is going to see that pass picked up by Sonnenfeld, and Sonnenfeld will go away with it. Vernicol trying to continue the drive. Vernicol in front of the goal. But we have a whistle on the play. 好了，这个球虽然看球已经向球门方向滚动，但是裁判已经吹响了哨音。那其实我们刚刚说马球比赛最重要的就是保护人和马的安全。所以呢，虽然说这是有一个呃进攻方非常有利的一个局面，但是由于在跑动当中啊，这个马匹横向出现在对方的进攻路线上。所以呢，裁判还是吹响了哨音，让耶鲁大学有一个是没有人防守打空门的机会。Result of the whistle is going to be a 30-yard open goal opportunity for the Yale Bulldogs. 好了，那我们看到这边呢是有一个三十码的罚球，我们刚刚提到了马球比赛的防守者必须要在三十码以外，所以呢这个三十码的罚球，你在三十码外的话就是在底线，也就是球门的线后面，所以呢防不防没作用，所以呢还是不用没有防守的球员来在这个门线上做一个干扰，因为干扰的点也是在球门的后面。Vernicol winds up and sends it through and true. Goal for the Yale Bulldogs. 好了，那我们看到的是这个球打得非常的漂亮，三十码罚球呢是干脆利落，五点五比四。那现在呢是从这个局面上看，似乎今天的耶鲁大学呢是跟我们去年天的有所不同啊。Once again, keep in mind that off of the goal score, the two teams will switch ends of the pitch. It will be London going towards the hotel. Out of the lineup, quick possession here for London University. Fontaine in control, riding hard to try to make the play, but he's going to need some help from Hedegaard. Hedegaard going to see that ball pop off of a pony's hoof, but picked up once again by Fontaine. Cole Fontaine's shot going to go through and score once again. We are all tied five to five off the quick goal by London University. 好了，咱们看到这个球一开球之后呢，是伦敦大学马上做出了一个反扑，这个球直接攻到了球门之前，而且运动战当中也有进球，所以追到五比五点五。Out of the ball and Yale in possession. 
there, Nicole, trying to get something going for the Bulldogs. Nice shot there by Sonnenfeld. Arthur Sonnenfeld, ridden hard on the contest by Elser. Great near side back end there by Peter Elser to try to set up Fontaine going the other way. Cole Fontaine with a head of steam. Nice backhander there by the Bulldogs. Second backhander trying to get it turned around, but Elser is there to collect. Peter Elser doing a nice job there in the back spot of just maintaining possession and keeping the flow moving for London University. Quick whistle, though, on the play. Uh,这边的右是出现在路线选择当中出现有犯规了,因为有些时候在这种急转,或者是出现一个球重新产生了路线的时候,选择权会出现一定的问题,那这个问题呢就是觉得自己都觉得自己是有利,呃,但是裁
when Yale gets away and doing an excellent job of maintaining on, the drives for London by continuing to play forward, getting the ball advanced, and taking their time being the number one thing that they're doing. 好了，那我们看到这一节比赛结束了的话，换句话说，还剩下一节的赛事呢。目前呢，是伦敦大学在这场的比赛当中第一次领先，六比五点五。Et ici, c'est un endroit merveilleux d'élégance, de passion, d'attention du détail. Polo, it's an elite sport played by royalty. I played against Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince Harry. It's a sport where it's, you get a bond with the horse. This place is not just a building. It's not just a polo club. It's also a foundation stone for the new nobility in China. The building has very distinct French accents in its color, in its detailing, to give it a contemporary neoclassical look. Par son originalité, par son architecture, par le projet de de de, de Polo lui-même, qui est vraiment. Euh... Très original pour 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 la Chine. Architecture is frozen music, they say. You put music into a box and it changes the whole box. It's like magic. The people who come here will enjoy the ultimate experience of the unexpected. People who come here will be from around the world because we are special, we are unique. Je crois que ce qui rassemble le polo et les grands vins, c'est certainement cette recherche de la perfection, cette recherche de l'esthétisme. Oui, il y a un lien très fort entre le polo et Cosse d'Estournel et Bordeaux en général. Ce qui compte, c'est la noblesse du cœur et des sentiments, et la vraie noblesse se situe à ce niveau-là. All about the idea of bringing nobility back to China. Et d'exception aussi. Next generation can come here and play polo, the sport of kings, and create an environment, a home for the privileged few. Xian He Feng Fan, Shi Dai Xiang Chuan, Tianjin Huan Ya Guo Ji Ma Qiu Hui. 好，那我们看，在现在呢，已经准备好，双方即将进行的是第四节的赛事，最后一节的比赛。那球员背后这个一二三四，除了是容易分辨他们在场上的这个呃人名字之外，其实呢，在职业比赛当中，往往他们有些时候分布的一个情况，就是一号如果在足球场上的一号就属于前锋，而二号呢是属于在足球场上大家俗称中场，叫前卫，而三号呢一般呢就是在后腰，而四号呢是后卫。他们基本上这个有时候在进攻端的位置呢会这么排，但是当比赛打起来的时候呢，可能。就是相互之间会位置上出现一个混乱，那这个混乱它不是说的自己跑乱，而是根据球的跑动，根据球的滚动，而在防守对方队员的时候也会出现可能前锋跑后面去了，后卫跑到前面去了，这也是要根据对方跑位的一个情况做出一个判断，所以基本上他们都是一个。红蓝衣服的和一个红白衣服的，大家会挤在一起。这个呢，就可以看有些时候球传出去呢，看看自己的队友谁在最有利的路线，谁能够先行进入到这个击球的路线当中，所以谁就是能够获得呃击球权。所以呢，传球的时候也是需要掌握一定的尺寸与角度。
Great match played so far by both sides. But this will be the final between these two teams. Here we go, final chucker underway. Out of the lineup, nice little backhander there by Shetty, trying to set up the London offense. Gets it away to Hedegaard. Natasha Hedegaard with a head of steam, puts it under the pony's neck, booming shot, and she's got it! Natasha Hedegaard finds the mark from 80 yards from goal. Oh, this game is played very well. Almost 80 meters. This is a woman's player. She directly hit the ball. Hit it to the ground. Now, Hedegaard. 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 Now, out of the lineup, Yale comes away with it for the moment. Backhander from Shetty, though, will turn it around for London. Coming first onto the ball is Elser. Peter Elser going to take advantage of this opportunity for the London University team. Elser trying to send it underneath the pony's neck. Going to need some help from a teammate here. No, he'll do it himself on the near side. Elser, impressive play. Ball still alive till the last second. Wide and just to the right of goal by the beautiful play of Peter Elser. 好了，那看到这个艾塞尔这个球，这是攻门的时候呢，就差一点点，在柱子边上，但是前边和后边是有差距的，后面就不是进球，只能出底线，防守方开底线球。Nice job. By Elser there, waiting for his defender to override the play so that he can come back and make the play on the near side. But nonetheless, it will be a free hit from the end line for Yale. The Bulldogs going to see that pass picked up by Cole Fontaine. Cole Fontaine will put it through, and it will be a score for London University off the quick possession by Arthur Cole Fontaine. 好了，咱们看到这边呢是方迪恩，也就呢是接对方的乌龙助攻啊，开底线球，直接把球开给了对手。这个对手呢，可能也没说谢谢，直接就打空门，八比五点五。Commanding lead taken here in the fourth tucker, chucker by London, but Polo is a game of extreme runs. Three goals is almost nothing when you've got a pony that can do 30 miles per hour. Out of the lineup, nice possession there by Peter Elser. Elser tries to get the backhander away to a teammate, but it will be only Bulldogs there to pick it up. Bulldogs can't get a backhander their own to go, and Shetty will possess. Shetty now riding the man off, going to have to switch to the near side here. Nicely done by Shetty. He'll score. 好了，那边看到的，又有进球了。看来伦敦大学在前三节比赛有点保留哦。这一节一上来踩足了油门，现在是九比五点五了。Beautiful play there by Shetty. When you're learning polo, first thing that they teach you is to watch the man first. Shetty sealed the man and then came back on the near side to make the play. There we go. On the lineup, coming away with it once again. London driving hard. Arthur Fontaine's shot. Arthur Cole Fontaine gets it away to Shetty. Shetty now back to Cole Fontaine. Cole Fontaine leaves it for Elser. Peter Elser teed up right in front of the goal, and he'll do it. Peter. 呃，这个球我们看到是在混乱当中啊，似乎找球出现了一点难度，没有看到球在哪里，结果呢被伦敦大学的队员从后带上，连人带球再次过门，十比五点五。After a largely defensive match, the London University team has found their stride 10 to 5. Now the advantage for the team in white and red. Out of the bowl in opportunity here for Yale. Quick whistle gonna favor the Bulldogs. 啊，看这球呢，本来球呢是打出去的是耶鲁大学的队员呢是有击球权，但是呢，似乎这个球伦敦大学的队员呢是有点操之过急，横向切入到对方滚动的路线当中，所以裁判哨音响起，又有犯规出现。嗯，还往前走，还往前走，看看到底是四十三十，呃，四十码的罚球。
Looks like the umpires are going to upgrade that to a 40-yard shot in this rule of polo. We're playing under the Hurlingham polo rules here at the Metropolitan Polo Club. That means that the players will have the opportunity to come out and attempt to thin this shot after it is released. 好了，那我们看到这边呢是这个四十码的发球，呃，今天第一次出现，呃，可以有一个守门员，这个守门员呢可以在门柱的中间，呃，利用马鞭，利用球杆，利用自己的身体，但是就不能动手，看看这个球能不能拦下来。Elias Bernicol handles the shot, ruling from the flagger is go, it'll be a score for the Bulldogs. 好了，咱们看到是耶鲁大学还是利用他们最拿手的定位球战术再次得分。当然，目前比赛时间剩下一分十五秒，他们是以六点五比十落后于对手。Great job there by the Bulldogs of dominating the ball in. Any time that you can win the play when the ball first goes in, it's going to give you an opportunity to add some points. And out of this lineup, it is Shetty in control now, taking the man out of the play, leaving it for Elser. Great unselfish play there by Shetty as Elser continues the possession. Peter Elser going to be denied by the pony's hoof, but he's got Arthur Cole Fontaine on the follow. On the broken play, Arthur Sonnenfeld trying to get something going for Yale here. He'll ask the pony for some speed. Elser. Now in on the broken play, gonna go to the backhander. His tail shot gonna come hard into the boards. On the deflection, bit of a battle for the ball here. Shetty contesting. Shetty gonna hear a whistle on the play. 好了，咱们听到现场的是又有哨音的是响起了啊，这边呢是出现了又有犯规。Looks like we have a brief tack time. Brief tack time on the field. Any time that any of the players or umpires think that there's any concern with the equipment for the ponies, they are allowed at a natural stoppage in the game to request a tack time to make sure that everything is perfectly safe for both the players and the riders. 好了，那这边呢是看到又有机会给了。耶鲁大学这次是六十码的罚球，而他们最拿手的，看来呢就是定位球。那从上分上来看，应该说耶鲁大学今天我们说属于弱队。呃，弱队打强队呢，在足球比赛大家常听到的，就是说，嗯，弱队打强队，利用前场定位球是一个很好的战术。看来在马球比赛当中一样可以利用起来，因为今天耶鲁大学所有的进球都是来自定位球。Vertical shot going to be deflected by the defense. Sent to the right of goal. And the whistle sounds once again. 好了，这次又有哨音响起了啊！两队的队员从站位上看都有点迷茫，到底是吹的谁犯规？呃，看看裁判的决定，因为从这个位置上可以决定到底是进攻方。如果是进攻方犯规的话，防守方就不会失这个球；但是如果防守方犯规的话，在这个区域就地处罚，就直接打完了。Penalty number two, this time it's going to be taken from the option of the spot. It will be a free hit on an open goal from the spot of the bow for the Yale Bulldogs. 好了，咱看看这个就是耶鲁大学获得这个罚球的机会。呃，离门也就不到，差不多也就十码的距离，打空门。虽然角度偏一点点，但是这个可以说是非常有利，让他们再次增添进球的一个机会，还是定位球取分。Bear Nicole finds the mark and scores. It's a game of run, folks, and the Bulldogs are on one, but the clock is going to be a cruel enemy winding down here at the end of the match. 好了，那我们看当时尼克这个球打进之后，虽然说定位球再次有效，但是最终他们还是以 7.5 比十输掉了这场的赛事。That'll do it, folks, at the end of the first match on today's card. London University emerges victorious, the victors of a 10-7 contest over the Yale Bulldogs. Congratulations to London University, victors of the first game of this year's Metropolitan University Polo Tournament. 好了，那我们看到这场比赛结束了，现场的观众，请给予两队热烈的掌声。
Et ici, c'est un endroit merveilleux d'élégance, de passion, d'attention du détail. Polo, c'est un élite sport, joué par la royauté. J'ai joué contre le prince Charles, le prince William et le prince Harry. C'est un sport où vous avez un lien avec le cheval. Cette place n'est pas seulement un building, ce n'est pas seulement un polo club. C'est aussi une fondation pour la nouvelle nobilité en Chine. The building has very distinct French accents in its color, in its detailing, to give it a contemporary neoclassical look. Par son originalité, par son architecture, par le projet de, 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 de Polo lui-même, qui est vraiment euh, très original pour. Euh, pour, uh, pour la Chine. Architecture is frozen music, they say. You put music into a box and it changes the whole box. It's like magic. The people who come here will enjoy the ultimate experience of the unexpected. People who come here will be from around the world because we are special, we are unique. Je crois que ce qui rassemble le polo et les grands vins, c'est certainement cette recherche de la perfection, cette recherche de l'esthétisme. Oui, il y a un lien très fort entre le polo et Cosse Tournelle et Bordeaux en général. Ce qui compte, c'est la noblesse du cœur et des sentiments. Et la vraie noblesse se situe à ce niveau-là. All about the idea of bringing nobility back to China. Et d'exception aussi. Next generation can come here and play polo, the sport of kings, and create an environment, a home for the privileged few. Xian Ke Feng Fan, Shi Dai Xiang Chuan, Tianjin Huanya Guoji Ma Qiu Hui. I always ask myself, am I digging deep enough into my soul to come up with something unique? This has been a journey to create a masterpiece for luxurious living for this great land of the future. Golden Metropolitan is an utopian city in Tianjin with the Golden 117 Tower as the iconic center for the privileged few. At Fortune Heights, the arts of luxury is built up on the life of polo, the sport for kings. We built the Metropolitan Polo Club as the foundation for a new prestige class in China, and we benchmark this as the level of luxury. All the architectural details and the decorations are exquisite. Whether you choose an Italian or a French-style villa, you are in for the ultimate luxury experience. The true value of luxury only comes when details and workmanships can be appreciated over time. From a small screw to the overall lighting design, it is a piece of art by sight and touch, and together with the best geomancy by Master Lee. It's about beyond quality that we brought our own quarry and we shape the stones into our own architectural profile. We use the European crystals for their dreamlike quality and reflection. And utilities are from Germany. It's about the perfect marriage of luxury form and function. Ultimate luxurious quality was always our only objective. I would not settle for less.
The Lux apartments are built with the same quality and care as all the villas in the project with a touch of modernity. The sky pool and garden duplex and even the triplex apartments are one of a kind. With all the amenities provided at Fortune Heights, British butlers are second to none. Luxury is not just quality, and it goes beyond belief. And Fortune Heights is our masterpiece of luxurious living in China. Tingjunwei 富貴屋鄰近的商業中心區必定要繁盛昌隆象徵六六無窮六六大順之意好運生生不息加上獨有詩人走教和便梯這裏樓頂上的孔子舞和博士舞天津環亞國際馬球會的誕生是代表天津的地運轉移新京津將會成為全中國最受矚目的城市
，会所内设有全天津最大嘅酒窖，收藏咗一万多支嚟自全世界知名酒庄嘅上品佳酿。此等享受，別處難求。富國高銀，盡得飽名飽財飽學之三寶奇局，家家户户運勢興旺，必定複雜綿長。中國富豪必爭之地，我認為只有新京津富國高銀。